All right, students, welcome to just kind of a, a little review for this next chapter 12 test. This isn't a comprehensive review. It's mostly just for entropy and enthalpy. Now, this was meant to be a full class review, but because we kind of ran out of time, we, just, we uh, and I'm not here for some of the classes, I'm going to go ahead and do this as a video that possibly you can do yourself. I think it's a really good idea to do this review uh, just to give you a little bit of information about entropy and enthalpy. So it says, please grab a whiteboard, a marker, and a paper towel. I guess you just need to grab a piece of paper and a pencil. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be telling um, the sign and the whether it's a positive or negative. So for example, this first one, the first question is, is what is the enthalpy of an exothermic reaction? So right now, I just need you, need you to write the sign and whether it's a positive or negative, and we'll kind of test this out. So pause the video. All right, are you coming back? So let's try this. So this is how this kind of works. We'll use this one as a practice one. So the enthalpy, the sign of enthalpy is delta H. That's what we're looking for. And for exothermic reactions, it's negative delta H. So hopefully you wrote negative delta H on your paper. Now for the next few questions, we're going to be doing the same things. And I might be asking you about enthalpy and entropy. For exothermic reactions, exothermic means that the heat energy is going out. So we are losing heat energy, which is why it's a negative delta H. All right, for this one, we're looking for entropy, not enthalpy. And we're wondering, what is the sign or and what is the sign for? And is it positive and negative for entropy if there is more order? Pause the video right now. All right, so if you tried this out, it is negative delta S. So more order, another way to say that or the way that I like to say it is less disorder. So if we go less disorder, it's a negative delta S. All right, next question, enthalpy. We're looking for enthalpy here. If something is absorbing energy, what would be the sign in the direction of enthalpy? Pause the video. All right, if something is absorbing energy, that means energy is going into the reaction. It's a positive delta H. All right, next question, entropy. For a substance that's dissolving, pause the video right now and take a guess. All right, hopefully you figured out that it is a positive delta S, meaning that when a substance dissolves, it goes from a solid substance to an aqueous substance. It literally breaks apart into multiple pieces. So we're going more towards disorder. So this is more disorder if a substance dissolves. All right, take a look at this. This is an energy graph, and you need to be able to interpret these energy graphs and kind of understand what's going on. So for this one, what's the enthalpy sign for this reaction? Pause the video. All right, if you made the guess that it's positive delta H, you'd be correct. What we have here is at the beginning, we have our reactants, which have kind of a lower energy. And then when the reaction goes, our products are at a higher energy. So from our reactants to our products, we gain energy. So this is a positive delta H. All right, what's the entropy and enthalpy for this reaction? Go ahead and pause the video. All right, for this reaction, we're going to do both. Let's start with entropy. For the entropy here, we're going to less disorder. The reason for that is because, is look, we have a, this is a molecule, and this is a molecule. Here's where the reaction is taking place. Now, in the end, we end up with one molecule. So we're going from two molecules to one. This is just a neutron. It's not a molecule itself. So we're going from two molecules to one. So that's less disorder. Now, how about energy? We are losing energy, and that's because right here, energy is, is a product of this reaction. It's not a reactant. Energy is not going in. Energy is coming out, so we're losing energy. All right, what's the entropy for this reaction here? Pause the video. All right, if you thought that the entropy is negative delta S, you'd be correct. We're going from two things to one thing. We're going from aqueous to things that are dissolved in water, and they're coming out from being dissolved and becoming a solid. They're getting less disordered. All right, so the enthalpy and entropy for this right here. So we're going to have water that's a liquid going to water that's a solid. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, if you guessed negative delta H and negative delta S, you'd be correct. In here, we're losing energy. Liquid particles have a lot of energy. Solid particles have a lot less energy. So we lost some energy in this reaction. Now, delta S, we're going less disordered because liquids, liquid particles are more disordered. 
Solid particles are less disordered, so we're going less disordered. All right, next question. Oh, same question. Next question, uh, what would be the entropy for this reaction? Is it a positive or negative? All right, if you said it was a positive delta S, you'd be correct because we're going more disordered. There's one KClO3 particle and we're ending up over here with more particles. All right, how about what's the entropy for this reaction? If you said that there was no change, you'd be correct. This one's a little challenging, but sometimes we need to realize that not everything has an accompanying entropy change. Here we're starting off with two particles. There's an H2 particle and a Cl particle. And what do we end up with? Well, we end up with two particles, two HCl particles. So there's really no change in disorder for this reaction. All right, enthalpy and entropy for this one. We're, this time we're going from a gas, water that's a gaseous state or vapor, and we're going to a liquid. Oh, and this is at room temperature, by the way. There's a negative delta S and a negative delta H. So in this one, we're going we're going to less disorder, a gas to a liquid. Gases are pretty, are, there's a lot of disorder in gas. Liquid, there's less disorder. And in this one, we are losing energy. Gas has lots of energy, liquid has less energy, and it had to lose the energy in order for that to happen. All right, what's the enthalpy and entropy for this reaction? Pause the video. If you said negative delta S, you'd be correct. And the reason for that is because we are going from two particles to one, so we're going to less disorder. If you said negative delta H, you'd be correct because the heat energy is a product of the reaction, which means that the heat energy is going out or we are losing heat energy. All right. For this one, we have a bubble that just froze. So it's a bubble that just froze. What is the entropy and enthalpy? If you said negative delta S, you'd be correct. We're going to less disorder. Think of a bubble. A bubble is actually made up of liquid. Now, if it's freezing, we're going from a liquid to a solid, and that's more or less disorder. We're getting more to an ordered state. The negative delta H, is, it's also negative delta H. We are losing heat energy because we're going from a solid, or we're going from a liquid to a solid, so the heat energy is escaping. This is a heat pack, by the way. So think of the entropy and enthalpy of a heat pack. Somebody clicks a little button in there, it causes a reaction. The reaction heats up and turns from a liquid to a solid. If you said negative delta H, you'd be correct. It loses heat energy, and we know that because if we put our hand on it, it's warm. And negative delta S because it is going less disordered. The particles are going from a liquid to a solid. All right, how about the entropy and enthalpy of the sun? What was happening in the sun? If you said negative delta H, you'd be correct because the sun loses heat energy. We feel that energy all the way here on Earth. If you said positive delta S, you'd be correct as well because those particles are becoming more disordered. They're becoming more scattered. All right, in this one, it is positive delta H because this ice cream is gaining energy. That's how it melts. It's going from a solid to a liquid state, and it has to gain energy to do that. It is also becoming more disordered. This one's not really a reaction, but positive delta H, it gains energy. So the light bulb, I guess, is what we're looking at here. And it's gaining energy because it, it receives it from the mousetrap. It's also becoming more disordered, obviously. This is an implosion. It's the reverse of an explosion. So think of this building as instead of exploding outwards, it's actually being rebuilt. Kind of a tricky question, but this is a positive delta H because it is gaining energy. If the building were to explode, all that energy goes out. But this is an implosion, so all the energy goes back into the building. Now, this is a negative delta S which means it is becoming less disordered. Now, this is a non-spontaneous reaction. So if we think about Gibbs free energy, which we could here, it's definitely non-spontaneous. All right, that's all the time I have for the practice. Good luck, guys.